Hello my friends! I wanted to do a new video for you guys today. I've been wanting to try this card so I thought I'd share with you. I got a few things prepared ahead of time so it would make it easier to do what we need. That way I will try to fit it in um, 30 minutes or less. So uh, we're taking a 5x7 card um, for the back and then we're gonna do two of these. Let me explain it. So this is a five by three inches long strip and then I scored it at um, quarter in at half an inch. So if I put it right here for you, you can probably see it. How it scored every every half an inch. And it's by five. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it. And the way you do it, you fold one end and then the other one towards the top first, and then because um, this is going to be gluing on so make sure you're folding it in the same direction like this and then everything else you just going back and forth now on them like that so you just go back forth back forth back forth so you have basically um, three uh, little hills on there. And now one of the sides we're going to glue on. Get this out of the way a little bit. We're going to glue it on the edge just like this. So when it's all folded up, it's going to be right there. So we're going to do the opposite on this end. So I'm going to glue it on there. You can use either really strong double-sided tape or glue like this. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you have a really good glue because it needs to hold well. And then you just line it up to the edge here. Just like that. And you got your little base here ready. Now, I made this background to put right in the back here. So what I did, I have this blue sheet of paper, just this all same color blue. And then I just used Tim Holtz inks. I used the Salty Ocean and the Mowed Lawn. These two, right there. I used those two and um, basically just went on the edge like this and just inked it up and um, I did it on purpose because I wanted to make sure it's not even see how it's got more green here kind of to give it more to look like there's bushes or clouds up there that's why it's all not even I did that on purpose and you just you can blend up the middle a little bit but basically that's all I did. To save us time, I did it ahead of time, plus I wanted to make sure it was the way I wanted it. So I got the background down. Let's attach that. I'm just gonna use my tapes here to attach it. So that's, this is, uh, the blue is going to be the sky and that is going to be the bottom. So this card is actually five by six because half an inch is are taken from each side. But it's up to you. You can have it be um, longer if you like, if you want to cover up. Um, the sides completely. It's totally up to you. So basically 
if I fold these in, this is what it looks like for the background. Now, I took a 5 by 7 sheet and die cut a rectangle out. The rectangle is 6 by 4 and a quarter to put on the front here, right here. But I'm not gonna, glue, basically it's gonna do like a window on the front. I'm not gonna glue that on yet, just to make it easier for us to work with the rest that we're gonna do with the card. But this is basically the base of the card. So we have these layers on the side. Actually, I might do one side. I'll go on one side and that way we can lift it up, attach what we need on there. And that way it'll hold on, it'll make it easier this way. Okay, so we're just going to glue it on onto one of our sides here. Make sure it's all nice and straight and lined up to the rest of the card. Okay, just like that. Why I'm not attaching the other side yet? is so that we can put um, and stamp and do anything else we want on the inside. That's why I'm leaving it open for now on one end. But this way I can lift it up and do what we need. So, I have this set right here of, um, let's put it on here, you can see it better on this side, that I'm gonna do um, the little Bethlehem scene in the background. This is going to be a Christmas card, so I'm going to do like Christmassy th themes. So I got the stamp already in here, but I'm probably going to line it up first. And then stamp. You can do this ahead of time. It's up to you. I wanted to make sure I'll explain everything for you so that way you can actually see it all. So I'm going to put it in between my two colors where the blue and the green meet. And then can probably straighten these out, get them out of the way so I can stamp well on here. Okay. Now I'm going to use just black ink for the background. So let's close this up first like that. And then just ink it up. Why I have it in a uh, kind of like a misty one is that way if it doesn't ink up well, since it's a long stamp, I can do it again if I want to. Just like that. See how it's missing a few parts? Just going to ink it up one more time. Make sure it does the tops, the roofs really well in there. There we go, much better. Okay. So now, um, I can probably do another piece like this here. So this way, just like that. Need a little bit more ink on there. Off the extra. Okay, now our little city is ready in the background. Then what I want to do is um, 
I cut so I have another stamp this one right here with the little Bethlehem scene at the bottom just like that so I already stamped it and colored it now what I want to do is kind of set it up where I want to put these on so the nativity is going to be probably right there okay let's see And I'll have these overlap like this. So to be able to do this, I probably need, oh, another thing I was going to do, I have these stars here that I was going to stamp on there. Before I do this, I wanted to do some stars. So I have this little cube here, and I'm just going to do them randomly all over. something like that will give us the little night sky okay now so I got a piece of acetate just cut doesn't matter really how big or how wide it is it's up to you I just I'm going to attach it with my double-sided tape on the back and probably another one to make sure it's holding on well on there. I'll attach this to the... Okay, so th since that is going to be on that side, I need to make sure I have a piece here. So I'm going to put it on this end here. onto here okay this way it is see-through yet it is um, going to be able to attach well so we can do these probably gonna trim it somewhere here I can almost cut it more if I need to So, and this piece is going to be attached at the end, so I'm going to put a piece of acetate right on here, on the edge. Like that. And then this one is going to be here, so I can do a couple of different things. I don't need a piece too long for this side, so let's attach that onto here. I want to make sure I can see it through the window also, that's another thing. 
don't want to make it too low where you can't see it. So this one, I will have to move it up higher. This one's too low. So let's do it one more time and move it up high. And then I'll put the little pictures in there, will be the best way of doing it. Okay. That way I can actually see it better. You could attach an estate to the front of the card, it's up to you. So now I'm going to put pop-up dots on here, on the back of my nativity scene here. in the corner here, right in here, just like that. That's going to be there. Can I use a little bit of tape and attach this to here? So it holds well in there, just like that. Okay, so now my nativity scene needs to be in the middle here. Just like that. And then these little wise men are going to be on the other side here. Just like that. Okay, so here's a little diorama card for you. Um, it's up to you. You can keep the star down here or put it up there. It, I don't know, I might change it up yet. So this is the card. Thank you very much for watching. See how these folds, they give you a chance to add different levels of uh, pictures in there. You can even have them move if you want back and forth. Um, but that's my little nativity scene card there for you. Hope you like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then visit lilyofthevel77.etsy.com to purchase my handmade cards. Thank you so much. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.